youngest mother set her foot on the path of life. Is the way long, she asked, and the guide said, yes, and the way is hard, and you will be old before you reach the end of it, but the end will be better than the beginning. But the young mother was happy, and she would not believe that anything could be better than these years. So she had fun with her children, and gathered flowers for them along the way, and played with them in the clear streams, and the young mother cried, nothing will ever be lovelier than this. Then night came, and the storm, and the path was dark, and the children shook with fear and cold. And the children said, Mother, we are not afraid, for you are near, and no harm can come. And the mother said, This is better than the brightness of day, for I have, for I have taught my children courage. And the morning came, and there was a hill ahead, and the children climbed and grew weary. And the mother was weary, but all the time she said to the children, A little patience, and we are there. So the children climbed, and when they reached the top, they said, Mother, we would not have done it without you. And the mother, when she lay down that night, looked up at the stars and said, This is a better day than the last, for my children have learned fortitude in the face of hardness. Yesterday I gave them courage, today I have given them strength. And the next day came strange clouds which darkened the earth, clouds of war and hate and evil. And the children groped and stumbled, and the mother said, Look up. Lift your eyes to the light. And the children looked and saw above the clouds on everlasting glory. And it guided them and brought them beyond the darkness. And that night, the mother said, This is the best day of all, for I have shown my children God. And the days went on, and the weeks and months and the years. And the mother grew old and was little and bent. But her children were tall and strong and walked with courage. But when the way was hard, they helped their mother. And when the way was rough, they lifted her, for she was light as a feather. And at last they came to a hill, and beyond they could see a shining road and golden gates flung wide. And the mother said, I have reached the end of my journey, and now know that the end is better than the beginning. For my children can walk alone, and their children, children after them. And the children said, you will always walk with us, mother, even when you have gone through the gates. And they stood and watched her as she went on alone. And the gates closed after her, and they said, we cannot see her, but she's with us still. A mother like ours is more than a memory. She is a living presence. As is tradition in this family. to invite my, my cousins and all the grandchildren to get one final picture with Grandma before we send her off. So if you'd please join me to great-grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. <laughs> 